Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming at you live. That's right, we are coming at you live from Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. And I am here with Mr. Gabriel DeCampo. Gabriel is the VP of Data Center at Sirion. Gabriel, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be with you today and at this event that looks very good. Yeah, no, the event is it's looking very good, and I do see some food getting yeah, brought in. That's so much that, better. That's looking very good as well. So, Gabriel, why don't you tell uh, our viewers a little bit about how Sirian is supporting um, your customers in Latin America, specific, specifically um, through kind of their digital transformation journeys? Well, we have been in the region for a long time, more than 30 years, and we have developed a strong platform. That digital infrastructure that we have developed is made of 18 data centers fully connected with our own network. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, we are carbon neutral. So we are serving and connecting uh, all the service providers in the region and giving a it's a lot of interconnection points, mm -hmm. developing ecosystems across the region in many countries. And as you know, we are in more than 20 countries at the moment mm -hmm. in the region, which is a lot, Yeah, uh, which is a lot, serving a lot of customers. Right now, we have more than 5,000 customers in the region and they are, they are using our platform. They are transforming their business. They are going through a digital transformation with our platform, of course. We are helping them to connect to others. But at the same time, the most important thing is that that ecosystem that we are developing, it allows a lot of customers coming into the region to develop their services with us. Mm -hmm. So it's not only about the existing companies in the region, but also hyperscaler service providers yes. coming to us. And uh, with our knowledge, our understanding, our platform, then can develop their services and mainly they can create relationship with our customers through our platform. I love it. I love it. And uh, and LATAM is one of those areas of the world that is just really exploding with regard to uh, the, the the data need and the data usage and the the real the real need for uh, for more infrastructure, more more uh, capabilities, more digital transformation. Absolutely. Uh, the region, uh, in general terms, uh, at some point is lagging behind the rest of the world mm -hmm. on what needs to be yeah. done. But that's why we are helping that, and companies are trying to keep up the pace to uh, to be at the same level and connecting to the world. Now the world is more interconnected, yeah. it's global, yeah. so they need to put their services into the global companies, global customers, and at the same time providing the, 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 the same quality of services to their own consumers. So yes. that's why, yes. because that's been standardized across the globe. So mm -hmm. now, now we are getting there and that's why we're building an infrastructure to help them. So speaking of building an infrastructure, ex let's talk about expansion. I do know that you are expanding there in, in LATAM. As, as large as you are in that region, there's more expansion to be done. Absolutely. Um, we are backed by Stompic, uh, mm -hmm. the investment firm, and we are investing this year more than $300 million in mm -hmm. the region, which is a lot. And that's uh, a mix of more connectivity services, but at the same time, we are building three more data centers. One in Chile is a 20 megawatts data center, a new one, okay. because the existing one is full. Mm -hmm. Same in Lima, that we are building a new one of another 20 megawatts, mm -hmm. because the existing one is full. And we are interconnecting them with existing customers and existing interconnection systems. And at the same time, we have already acquired a new line in Rio de Janeiro to continue expanding that, that is going to be a 60 megawatt data center. That is on top of all the expansions that we're doing in our existing infrastructure. Yeah. Argentina, uh, also in Buenos Aires, also in Sao Paulo, uh, in Cotia. So as you can see, the, the whole region is growing. We mm -hmm. are going with that. And thank God we have a company that's supporting our investment growing uh -huh. with that. So let's talk about why the growth. Ob the AI is something that everybody is talking about. We cannot we cannot have this uh, the, uh, growth conversation without uh, without speaking to AI. So why don't you tell us a little bit about um, how AI is impacting your work? Well, quite a lot. Uh, by the way, uh, we have been talking about how to adapt the existing infrastructure mm. into AI, and now mm. we are AI ready. The new data centers are AI ready. So we are developing with the new technologies in terms of liquid cooling. And at the same time, we're adapting existing data centers to be AI ready, supporting those loads. But at the same time, that the interconnection system we have is going to allow the customers to connect to any AI company that can support and help mm -hmm, them mm -hmm. to build their own services. All because in the end, the infrastructure is there, but they need to provide more services to our customers yeah. and they need applications using inference machine and all that stuff. So 
we are we are in that process. We created that ecosystem, and we are helping customers in that in that model. At the same time, we we need to say that we are using AI internally. So mm -hmm. we are using just to be more efficient, uh, more. Um, to use uh, and to provide better services to customers. Mm -hmm. And it's extremely important to say that, of course, when we are building all of this, we need to protect the ecosystem. I mean, and from that perspective, we are, we are, uh, we are stomping. We are, our plan is to be net zero by 2030. So we are in that road. So we have uh, reported our ESG um, uh, metrics. Mm -hmm. And we are working hard on that. And we all the players in the, in the region just to have renewable sources, but very to be very efficient in terms of energy and at the same time, of course, be um, very responsible in the market. Gabriel, if there were a theme of our conversation, it would have to be ecosystem. I think this might be the very first um, interview that I have done where you married uh, the ecosystem, your business ecosystem, and the, your reliance on that collaboration within that ecosystem to the ecosystem and the environment. Well done. Thank you. No, it was a pleasure. I, we truly believe in the ecosystem. We need to build this together uh, between all the companies, all the players, but at the same time, respecting the world that we're living in. I love it. Gabriel, thanks so much thank for being here. It was a pleasure. Thank you. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay connected and happy networking.